Hey y'all, coming to you from the International Headquarters, Scotty DTV, but I was at the 2022 SEMA show and I came across this very cool 1973 Chevy pickup truck I think y'all are gonna like. Let me get the camera turn around, we'll take a quick look at it. And of course, you know, I can't guarantee it's a 1973. From my best research, it looks like a 1973. Kicker was founded in 1973, so they're celebrating their 50th anniversary. How cool is that? Kicker seems like it's been around, you know, it's like one of the brands of my childhood. So, very cool and good looking truck. And, you know, uh, I don't may not know the exact year. And again, I'm, I'm guessing it's a, it's a 73, but I can tell you what I do like about this truck. It's clean. There, I mean, it's laying on the ground. It's got a good wheel choice. It's got a good stance and it's all white. And if you follow the channel, you've heard me mention before, I didn't, for the longest time, I didn't think white was a color. So I, you know, that's not a color that I would have chose to pay, paint something. But I've seen it done when it's clean and it's done right and the accent color plays in and works with it. It really works for me. There again, cool is cool. And this Chevy's pickup truck is in my opinion very cool very nicely done not overdone like i said there's nothing you know it's got a custom interior in it but even that is a bench seat truck looking you know custom but i'm not trying to downplay it's a very nice interior you know the dash and all that stuff but again it's not you know craziness it's just clean nicely done front of the truck same way i, I believe they you know, 73s would have a marker light on that front fender, but they've taken that off. I'm totally cool with that. Again, shout out to Kicker for opening their booth and having this cool truck in there. I'm a fan of Kicker. Like I said, that's one of the uh, brands of my youth, and I've gotten to spend some time around the people that represent Kicker, and they're all real good people, and yeah. If we ever get the uh, Yukon all up and running, and make sure they said they'd make sure the stereo was up to snuff for me. So very clean. Again, back to this truck. Very very clean. I love the accent color. I love the textures they did. I like what they did in the bed. You know, it's just clean. The black strips, the brown, whatever matte finish is that's in there. I wouldn't change a thing. And again, I'm not a white guy. Really, who changed me on white, I'll be honest with you, was Rudder and that Nova that he did. That blue and white Nova. I, I love that car to this day. And that one. And that one really made me realize, uh, white's a color and done right. It can be cool. And again, I think they, I think they played that perfect brown off that white. Kept the the original trim for the truck, kept the door handles, kept the mirrors. Still sort of a bench seat. It's got a little bolster there to kind of give you a, a you know, a division, but for the most part, the bench seat, some nice carpeting, a couple cup holders. What else do you need? And that right there, perfect. The texture, the color, because there's two different colors going on, I have a feeling. The floor and then the tubs and the side of the bed. It could be lighting, but I wouldn't be surprised. Because again, as simple as this truck looks, a million decisions. You've heard me say that before. A million decisions. Some kind of fuel-injected GM power plant. I think that's the same intake I have on the Yukon. Holly. Very nice, clean, not overdone. Truck is set up, can be driven anywhere you want to go. And for everybody that's going to scream it sits too low, it's on some sort of a system that allows it to be raised up. You can't drive it that low. So I don't know, it's error is my guess. The other choice would be hydraulics, and I don't see tanks and lines everywhere, so my guess is it's error. And who knows? It could be static. It could be, I could be get the uh, ha ha, Scotty, that's where it sits. <laughs> so there you go from the 2022 SEMA show, a very cool 1973 Chevy pickup truck. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya!
Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.